Hey gang, we're back at uh, turn two for the Third World War with uh, the old GDW system. I'm going to show you some die rolls. There's the die rolls that we made for all by one of the combats. And uh, we will now go through and apply the results. And so the first result here is one and a half to one, and we roll a one. And uh, that means that these chaps here are going to take two disruptions. So everyone in this stack will take two disruptions. And that will end up meaning that these guys are at five, a deadly five, because one more and they're toast. And I don't think I even have any fives. Here we go. So he's at five. This guy's dead. Wow. Okay. So that unit's toast. This unit has one plus two. Yeah, it's going to make that three. I need a three. For him. Yeah, we'll put those guys back in place. He goes to the dead pile. This is from the strike that we did earlier on. And we add two to this guy. That makes that a three. I think I did that correctly. Yeah. Okay. Three to one. We roll a one there as well. And that's a net. A five to one drop down to a three to one. That's correct. So a three to one and a one is a DD. I can uh, ignore retreats there, but I can't ignore DDs. So we're going oh, to put a D on each of these guys. which is not such a big deal for the Americans. But it will be for these guys. These guys have both got one, so they now both have two. Notice how I'm cheating and not putting one on each one. We'll put one on this chappy. And then uh, flip this guy to two, flip this guy to two. Doing this with your little tweezers would take twice as long, so we're just pulling these guys out of here. And these guys both flipped to two. So that's a that's a beat down in the north, and I think that will slow things down significantly. Uh, you piece of hell out of these guys. Alright. Yeah, next combat is just out of range of the camera because we're zoomed in. Five to one. And I rolled a six, and this is what's going to hurt. Yep. Was it this one here? An exchange. Yeah, so I lose the entire first division of the American forces. Oh, actually, I mean, they're German. They're German, uh, they're German forces. And now I have to lose nine factors, uh, combat factors here. And so probably the easiest thing to do is just to lose this guy. Or better still, lose this dude. No? I don't know. There's nothing there. We'll just take a Polish division because who cares about those Poles, right? And now we have to advance into the hex and I'll advance uh, some boys. Let's see what we'll do with these guys. Oh, what am I doing? What a crackhead. Thank you. I thought I'd taken the five to one off. It's this in English should be getting the beat down here. There we go. Exchange. Now I've got to lose one. So that's going to be from one of these divisions or this one here. So we could lose two, four, seven, but I think I'll just take this one division here. Is it one? That's a six. Yeah, that guy. Even though he has 11 combat factors, he only has a 6 on his... Uh... See how easily I get distracted? Alright, so now we, we took that hex, so now I can advance in there. Now what I might do is advance these boys in to there like so. 
Uh, hmm. All right. Let's see. The last next attack, three to one. And this is a really annoying uh, result here because uh, I had put uh, a pretty tough fighter in and was hoping to. This was at a two to one previously, uh, one to one previously, and I was hoping to uh, knock it. Uh, knock it around a bit, but the Soviet air went uh, totally chaotic and nailed me. All right, three to one, and I have a three result. That means I need to retreat, which is actually not a bad thing for us. We'll take that one. I think we'll retreat back towards Frankfurt because I do want to start sending one more division up this way, so that'll be helpful. And we have to advance, so we might as well just... We'll send one unit in and then continue the advance and uh, advance one more X here. And that way this ties up a lot of these units here. And we'll let them move next uh, in, the, in the reserve phase. Okay, we've got a one-to-one -one attack down here and we're already at six minutes. It'd be faster if I didn't pick the wrong units to resolve with. One to one, and I rolled a two. Two disruptions for all these guys, so I'll do that. And then we have a three to one down below here, and that is a three. That's going to be a retreat down here. So we're going to retreat two hexes, and we'll just go, actually, uh, I think we can retreat into the mountains just fine. I don't think that causes any problems. If it does, it's probably a disruption. And in fact, that's a mountain unit anyway. Uh, let's see, and I have one more attack to roll for, and I roll a three, and I have, and it's a, on the max odds anyway, so it's eliminated. We're just eliminating a little Yugoslav unit. We don't even need to see that. And that is the first combat phase in the second turn, and we will talk to you guys soon. And if you spot any mistakes, for all those people who are freaking out about this unit here, we got it all right, so I think we're all good. Later.